there, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here today. It's time to sing the hello song, so use your big, loud singing voices to sing with me. Remember to clap your hands to the steady beat. But if I stop, you have to stop. Here we go. Hello, hello. Clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. He tricked you. <laughs> clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap your hands, everybody clap, everybody clap. <laughs> Wonderful job, boys and girls. That is such a fun song to sing. Oh, do you guys hear that? That sounds like some very interesting music. Let's go find out where it's from. Come on. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow, that is some really beautiful and interesting music. Where do you think it might be from? Oh, I know where this is from. This is from Africa. Oh man, Africa would absolutely be a perfect place to visit. But you know what I always say, boys and girls? If you can dream it, you can do it. Come on, we're headed to Africa. Africa is the second largest continent in the world. It makes up about a fourth of the world's land. In fact, Africa is so large, the United States of America, our home, can fit three times into the continent of Africa. Because it's so large, they have a lot of different types of cultures, landscapes, and beautiful animals. They have lions, elephants, giraffes, and so many other types of animals. And the people in Africa are very diverse as well. So many types of languages are spoken in Africa, like Swahili, Lingala, and English, just to name a few. The children in Africa are just like you. They go to school to learn everything they can. But many children have a hard time getting to school. Some kids have to walk many miles after working long hours or taking care of their families to get to their classrooms, where they work really hard to better themselves and their minds. School for many children is something that they cherish very much, so they work really hard to make sure it happens. The cultures in Africa are so diverse, but they have one thing in common. They all love music. Africa has some amazing cultural dances that show off their athletic side and brightly colored and unique costumes that represent their heritage. And they have some very unique instruments too. Some you know, like the drums, but others you may not recognize, like the kalimba or the kora. The kora typically has 21 strings which are played by plucking with the fingers and combines features of the lute and a harp, but you hold it in your hands. Now this looks like a very interesting instrument to play. Africa is a land of beauty, diversity, and exceptionally strong and talented people. To look into the eyes of Africa is to look into the soul of the earth. Jumping on the bed, one 
three, four. to take a rest. Sometimes it's nice to just sit back and take a nice rest. Just like in music. Oh, hey, that's a great idea. Let's learn about rest today. Now, you remember our lesson on rhythms, right? Sing this song with me. Play this rhythm with me. Oh, sing this song with me. Play this rhythm with me. Sing this song with me. Play this rhythm with me. Long, long, short, short, long. Short, 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 long. Long, long, short, short, long. Short, 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 long. Sing this song with... Oh man, that was a super fun day. Well, if we only use notes that made sounds, the music would get pretty crazy and pretty boring, pretty quickly. So we use rest to break the sound up and make the music more interesting. Just like we can make a long sound for one whole beat by using the quarter note, <laughs> we can be silent for one whole beat by using my friend, the quarter rest. Now the quarter rest, like the quarter note, is worth one whole beat. But instead of making a long sound on it, we have to be quiet for one whole beat. Like this. Shh. You try. Shh. 
Very good. Now let's do it with a steady beat. Ready and shh. Perfect. And if we have four of them all together, then we would make four shh sounds. Let's try it. Ready and shh, 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 shh. Very good. Now, the sound isn't really supposed to be there. Eventually, what we have to do is make no sound like this. But for now that we're learning it, it'll help us remember if we do shh, 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 shh. Let's try it again. Ready and shh, 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 shh. Very good. <laughs> wow, that was super easy for you. You guys are really smart. Hmm. I'm going to make it super tricky for you and see if you guys can read it. But this time, I'm going to use our friend the quarter note. Now remember, we're supposed to say long on the quarter note and the shh on the quarter rest. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Ready and long, shh, long, shh. Great job. Let's try it one more time. Ready and long, shh, long. Fantastic, you guys. What if I add short, short this time? Do you think you can do it with all three? Oh, that looks pretty tricky. Let's give it a try. Ready and long, shh, long, short, short. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Let's do it one more time. Ready and long, shh, long, short, short. Excellent job, boys and girls. You know what? I think we're ready for our game. Let's go ahead and play this rhythm with me. All right, boys and girls, so this is a call and response game. That means I go, you go. But this time, we're going to use long, short, short, and shh. I want you guys to stand up wherever you are and begin marching to the beat. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Let's sing it together. Play this rhythm with me. Sing this song with me. 
Why the Sky is So Far Away, a tale from Nigeria. Retold by Bert Knight. Pictures by Cynthia Treatman. Today, if people want food, they have to work for it. They have to earn money to take to the market. Or they have to plant a garden or tend a farm. But it wasn't always that way. Long ago, people used to eat the sky. Once, you see, the sky was a lot closer to the ground. So when people got hungry, all they had to do was reach up and break off big, tasty pieces. But sometimes people pulled off more than they could eat. When that happened, they just threw the leftovers away. After all, the sky was so huge. What difference could a few pieces make? Well, all this waste did make a difference, at least to the sky. In fact, it made the sky very angry. What's this? The sky hollered down to the people. Every time your stomachs growl, you tear off giant pieces of me, get a few bites and throw away the rest. It's a disgrace. If you don't stop, I'll move far away, so far away that you won't be able to reach me at all. For a little while, people remembered the sky's warning. They only took what they could eat. Soon enough, though, they forgot the warning and went right back to their old habits. They took bigger and bigger pieces of the sky, and the spoiled piles of leftovers grew and grew. One day, a certain man pulled up a gigantic piece of the sky. He ate as much as he could, but there was still a huge piece left. Then the man recalled the sky's threat. Afraid that the sky would make good on it, he called his wife to help him finish the big piece. His wife ate all that she could, but when she was full, a large piece still remained. So she called their oldest son. The boy stuffed himself, but there was still some left. The two younger children tried to finish it, but it was no use. The family just couldn't eat it up. Seeing this waste, the sky grew dark with anger. Suddenly, a great wind came up. People stared fearfully as the sky shot upward, roaring as it rose. Higher and higher it flew, further and further from the earth. Come back, everyone shouted. But the sky didn't listen. From then on, with no sky to eat, people had to work to feed themselves. And they've been working for their food ever since. Well, boys and girls, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining our music class. Now remember, watch all the way to the end of this video so that you can answer the secret question. Today is a really special one, and I cannot wait to hear your answers. All right, let's sing the goodbye song. Now it's time to say goodbye. you guys let's sing it one more time and you know it sing it loud sing it proud <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye see you another day goodbye 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 boys and girls i will see you soon Well, hey there, my fellow secret agents. Thanks for sticking around to the end of our lesson. I have a really great question for you guys this week. But first, you have got to hear what Harper had to say about last week's secret question. It's a good one. Hi, Mrs. Thomas. If I could have any pet, I would pick a tiger to name it Raja. Thank you, Mrs. Thomas. That is a great choice, Harper. 
I definitely think that would be a pet worth having. Now, boys and girls, I simply have to know the answer to this week's secret question. What's a kind thing that you do that makes someone happy? Answer in the comments below and 